Hi everybody, my name is Ken. And like a lot of you, I like chicken. I like it baked, I like it roasted, I like it fried, and I especially like it freshly killed. But not everybody feels the same way about chicken as you and I. In fact, there are many people, more and more every day, who are keeping chickens in their own backyards right here in the city as pets. Who could believe it? These filthy creatures. Uh, these, these animals so stupid that they're birds and they don't even know how to fly. Who could love these imbeciles of the barnyard? Well, today we're going to find out when we take a peek into the wild world of the chicken people. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say stupid. I mean, you know, they're not the smartest animal ever, but um, but they're very sweet. They're very, they're, they have their own personality more so than I ever thought that they would. And they're, um, you know, they definitely all have their own personality and they're pretty cool animals. They're very, they're ki very kind animals. I mean, except they peck each other and they'll eat their dead friends, but, <laughs> but they're fun. So yeah, they live in flocks, which means that they live in groups, but it's also really hard to introduce a new chicken to a flock that you, you have to keep them separated. You can't ever have one chicken. You, so if I wanted, I couldn't get one more chicken, I'd have to at least get two. And then you have to slowly introduce them. You have to keep them separate for a while. If they're small, they will kill the babies. What is the benefit of being a boss of the backyard? <laughs> um, I guess you get to eat first. It's always about eating okay, first, yeah, isn't eating it? first, right? Yeah, I guess everyone likes to eat first and eat more. I have been the chicken nest uh, since 2009. Okay. Yeah, so, so I started researching in, in 2008 and got my first birds in May of 2009. I think the, the top two are how easy they really are to yeah. keep. I think a lot of people, um, they, they think it's going to be a big challenge and the hardest part really is getting the coop set up. Once your coop is set up, assuming it's been designed well, which is to say the design of it can um, eliminate 90% of the potential challenges you'd have down the road just yeah. by designing it well. Um, once you get that set up, their, their care is so easy. And then the second part of that, which sort of goes along with it, is that they are delightfully entertaining. Um, and they all have their own personalities, they all have their own voices, so that I think I think those two sort of compound each other. That the, the fact that they're so delightful to be around makes the care a little easier. As I was telling you, their most favorite food in all the world is watermelon. They actually cannot supposedly taste sweet things, but they seem to like things that are sweet. But um, watermelon is their favorite food. So would you like to feed them some watermelon? Yeah, what do I do with my watermelon? It's right here. All right, I'm gonna feed these things some watermelon. Hey, chicken, chicken, chicken. Hey, chicken, go the wrong way, chicken. Jen, the chicken's leaving. What about you? Do you want one? You want some watermelon? There you go. There you Let's go. Cash, the dog in black. Cash got some watermelon too. Nice. Everybody gets watermelon. I got one piece left. Here. You want it? Like it? Whoa! Those beaks seem pretty powerful, Jen. They are, but you know what? They don't really bite me or anything. You've never been you've never been bitten by a chicken? Not these guys, no. Because they're very friendly. Um Local food, the eggs and the eggs really do taste amazing. And I don't know how much of that is because you know that you grew them yourself, like same with vegetables and such, but the eggs are delicious. So having healthy eggs that are a completely renewable resource because they're coming from your backyard, so you don't have to worry about, oh wait, I can't use up these eggs because I have to use them for something else. You'll have five more tomorrow. Right. So that's cool. I mean, it's easier to buy eggs at the store. It is it easier is to, to buy eggs at the store. Create eggs in your backyard. Um, for one, uh, their eggs are so delicious. And if you'd like an egg, I'll make you an egg. I mean, I feel like it's just going to taste like an egg, though. No, it's not. It's going to taste so delicious. <laughs> so these are the eggs that you got from the backyard? Yes, those are probably laid all, um, like, a day or two. Like, they're probably, maybe two or three were one day, and the other one was the next. So very fresh. So we're going to make these eggs that you grew in your backyard? Yes. Well, you didn't grow them. The chickens grew them. Yes. Here's me eating a delicious backyard egg. It was created just outside. I know it's going in my mouth. And it's a, Jen, it's a delightful egg. Oh, good. A little overcooked. A little, a little, a little. 
but it's uh, it's it's very like uh, kind of you know fluffy and flavorful. It is fluffy. Even the white part is really. It's fluffy. A, even the white part is fluffy. That's the weird thing about these eggs. I know, because usually the white part sucks, and people don't right. want that, right? But yeah, the white part is fluffy. I know it's that when first cup. It's a good egg. I, I, am I willing to sacrifice my uh, my time and effort to make an egg in my own backyard? No, but my friend Jen does, so I can just come over here for one of these eggs. Absolutely. Anytime you and Stacy are in the mood for some eggs, I usually have extra. And then the, the third one really is the um, the almost indescribable experience of just hanging out with them and how that really connects you with your outdoor space that little bit more than it might have previously. Um, and it, they are way better than, than TV. I say this a lot of times, like chicken TV is the best channel. <laughs> do you want to hold the chicken? I do want to hold the chicken. Okay, here, I'm going to put her on you. Okay. I'm going to take your camera. Okay. Okay, so here, put your arm here. I'm going to put my arm here. Yeah, so she's on, get above the feet, just like a bird. Yep. Yep. Have some, have some, have some, have some. Okay, got her? Yeah, I got her. Hey, I'm holding the chicken. How's this, it feel? This is the first time in my life I've held a chicken. Really? This is your first chicken This is chicken the first, holding? this is my first chicken holding. Holy smokes. I feel like a farmer, Jen. You are. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. That's it. Okay, we've had it. We're... All right, there you go. There you, there you go. There we go. Hey. Well, chicken. You brain me in the head with a frying pan. But you know what? I think we both learned something about each other today, and that's important. I mean, I'm probably still gonna kill you and eat you, but I, I might feel bad about it next time, who knows? Oh good, there's the ambulance.